Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. So today I'm going to do a green and brass wiggle pour or tree ring pour. I'm not sure which one yet. Let's see what we can do with that. All right. Okay, so as you can see, I have a copper. I have a black, which is going to be kind of from my background and rollover paint. If you put a layer of paint down, then your other paint will roll on top of it instead of rolling under and disappearing. I have a dark blue, I have a army green, and I have a lighter green that's kind of a spring green. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to stack only these three colors in my cup, and I'm going to do a circle of copper, and then just do the back, do the outside edges in black, and we'll see how that goes. Now I'm going to layer these with the blue in between the greens, just because the greens will disappear. And I'm just going to do two layers of color. of paint. This is a, a 16 by 20 canvas, but this is uh, plenty of paint for it. All right, I am going to give my black a little last minute stir. It's got some bubbles coming up. Just a slow stir, enough to break it up a little bit. All right. Do a little oval of my copper. Now this copper is a metallic, of course, and it has just a little bit of a sheen to it. I'm sure in the camera it probably looks like it's brown, but it has some metallic in it for sure. set to go. So because I'm right-handed, I'm going to pour out of this side. And like I said, I'm going to do a wiggle pour. So I'm actually going to start at this side and wiggle as I pour all the way to this side. So we'll see how that turns out. See how this is going to turn out. Just trying to get it to touch this black first before I get started. Alright, so now I have to make a decision about what parts of this I really love. Right now I don't really love a lot of it, but maybe I want to keep that. I'm going to go this way first.
we've got some cells coming up. So when I heat the paint with my torch, not only does it break bubbles, but it also heats the metallics that I have in here and helps those come up through my paint in these patterns that you see here. Now this pattern is because I stretched it after they started coming up. But the other things that are coming up are because of the heat. It's looking cool. Kind of strange. Love it. All right, so we're going to let this rest for a little bit, and I will show you the finished painting. All right, so this is our finished painting so far. I have an unintended effect of this wonderful lacing that's going on. I did expect some of the copper to come up through, but what I noticed was I had pulled the black Mars Black bottle off the shelf that was mixed with silicone. So I usually don't use paint with silicone right next to my canvas. I usually have a base layer under that. But this is what happened when I got that silicone mixed in with the black, used it as my base layer. It's looking wonderful so far. I think some more cells will come.